Hey, what's up everyone? Here is my review for Fruit Ninja Connect. Now, this is going to be a different review from all the other ones because this one's going to be less category based and more just talking about the game because here, there's not really much of a story. Actually, there's no story. There's not much of graphics really besides the fruits. And there's not really much sound either, so I just wanted to talk about it. I'm just going to talk about it, tell you what modes there are. And just tell you if it's fun, okay? If you don't know what Fruit Ninja is, Fruit Ninja is exactly how it sounds. Fruit goes flying into the air and you have to go and cut it into groups. Like, you just use your arms, uh, for the iPhone version, of course, you use your fingers to slice it. Here, you use the connect and you use your arms to slice the fruit and into groups so you can get combos. Like, say you cut four at the same time, you get a plus four combo, I guess you could say. That means you cut four fruits, which sounds bad, but uh, you cut four fruits, like, I don't know, watermelons, bananas, whatever, uh, and you get four for just c cutting those four, and then you get four plus because you cut four at the same time, so you get eight all together. Okay, and pretty much you have to get the high score. It's all about high scores here. Now in this Fruit Ninja Connect, which is pretty much the same as the iPhone version, here you get three modes. You get classic, you get arcade, and you get zen mode. And let's talk about the classic mode first. Classic mode is really just a classic mode. Fruit goes up flying in the air, and you have to cut it in combos. Same same thing like I explained before, except this one you can't let any of the fruits fall off the screen or hit any bombs that fly up. So pretty much you have to make sure you don't hit any bombs because you, you might be into the zone for Fruit Ninja and you're like, yeah, I'm just going to flail my arms around and win. Nope, you'll hit a bomb and you'll lose automatically. And also if you lose a fruit off the screen, you get three tries. If you drop three fruits, then you're done. That's it. Uh, throughout the uh, mode here, you'll get like different fruits that you can go hit and slice really fast and try to get really uh, like a lot of points. That's pretty much classic mode. Now, now let's talk about arcade mode. Arcade mode, you have one minute to pretty much kill a whole bunch of fruits that are flying in the air. And in this mode, you also have bombs, except these bombs don't automatically end the game if you hit them. These bombs will take points away from you, and they'll blow up all the fruits that are on the screen. So that means all those fruits that you wanted to kill... They're already dead because this bomb took them away. What a freaking jerk. And the other thing that's actually different with this mode is that you actually can slice fruit power-ups, which actually gives you certain different power-ups or an advantage to the game. Like, uh, one is a time slowdown, so you can cut the fruit without them falling too quickly, and it give you a chance to, like, I don't know, do a, a strategy or something. Uh, there's one that gives you double points, so whenever you cut a fruit, you'll get double the points. And one that's called Frenzy, which actually just makes a whole bunch of fruit just spawn out of nowhere, and you you, you just freaking flail your arms around and try to cut all of them. And arcade mode's a lot of fun, just like classic. But the one mode that I love in this game is called Zen mode, which is the simplest. You have 90 seconds to cut fruits. You have no bombs and no power-ups. It's just straight up fruit onslaught. There you go. That's my favorite mode. 90 seconds, cut as many fruits as you can, which, again, still sounds bad. But you just cut fruit. That's it. I love that mode. It's so addicting. My favorite mode in this game. I like arcade and classic, but Zen mode is so much fun and it's so simple too. Arcade mode adds all this crap and classic's like, oh, here's bombs or and of uh, special fruits and stuff. Here it's just like cut fruit, hurry up, come on. And I love that. Zen mode's a lot of fun. Uh, multiplayer, there is a multiplayer in this game. I didn't get a chance to play it, so I'm not going to really talk about it. It's local multiplayer, not online. That's why I didn't get a chance to play it because I have no friends. So there you go, there's my review for Fruit Ninja Connect. I definitely recommend this game if you love the original game. I think it's a very addicting game, has a great use for the Connect. The Connect works wonderfully in this game, and also has multiplayer. If you have friends or family members that love playing games, then guess what? Just have some room for your Connect, and you can play and probably have even more fun. But right now, I already played about six to seven hours of this game, and I'm going to play more because I am very addicted to this game, just like I was with the iPhone version. I love this game. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of a 10. There you go. There is my review for Fruit Ninja Connect. Go buy it if you have a Connect and an Xbox, and you have 10 bucks. So there you go. There's my review. Thank you, and goodbye.